These soldiers had to pass a new, more intensive screening process as the U.S. Army looks beyond traditional skills. So first off, we're looking for a good soldier. He has to be technically, tactically competent, subject matter expert within his uh, skill set. Uh, but more importantly, he's got the right personality. And that starts with empathy, according to Colonel Scott Jackson, who is leading the Army's first ever security force assistance brigade. Permanent military training teams to be deployed worldwide to advise and build local forces. That's why cultural sensitivity is a big component in the training underway at Fort Benning, Georgia. With respect to our own organization, uh, the outcome is that our foreign security force partners that we partner with are capable of solving their problems in a manner that's consistent with their culture. This is a program where soldiers are handpicked, asked to come into it. They are literally stewards of the United States of America, and their impressions that they make on people in Afghanistan are at the utmost importance. See bulging of the jugular. Every team member is an expert in a field, but they are all getting increased training on medical and lifestyle procedures, language skills, and cutting-edge equipment. Just with the, the information, the knowledge, the equipment that we have, it gives us that room to continue to grow and expand and, and be flexible. The new brigade was formed earlier this year. It was expected to leave for Afghanistan in early 2018 to train Afghan forces to battle Taliban and other insurgents. I came from incredible units. Uh, that I've served with previously, and these guys are bar none to, to what I've seen. The Army will build six brigades over the next few years, reflecting the new reality of America at war. Army soldiers building local security forces and not doing the fighting for them. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Fort Benning, Georgia.